Hello all your students, welcome to Quantum Guru. Let's see this very good question of moment of inertia of a uniform circular disc mass and radius r. The axis of rotation is passing through center mass but an angle theta will explain. So normally when we proceed it to solve it will involve a lot of integration. In this approach that I am going to present you I will not use integration at all. We will use the geometrical consideration. But before I proceed to that very simple straightforward matter, uh, method to derive expression for the moment of inertia, I will use the expression of moment of inertia of a uniform uh, elliptical disk. Uh, for that thing also uh, we will not derive, I will just give you result and tell the steps to how, to, how we can get that uh, result and will tell you how to remember that answer also. So let's look for the moment of inertia of an elliptical disk first. So suppose this is an elliptical disk and uh, the center is at the origin and the boundary of this disk has the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. And this is the disk. This is semi major axis, semi minor axis, total mass is m. Uniform disc, elliptical disc, so its uh, uniform mass density is sigma is equal to mass upon area which is a uh, pi AB. Uh, take an element, uh, take an element here, this is an element at a distance x, a straight element and suppose this has a length thickness dx. So uh, the mass of this element dm will be the sigma into area area is this is y and this is dx so area is 2y dx and y uh, we can put from here and then moment of inertia of uh, this element because all the masses of this element at a distance x from uh, this y axis so first we will find the moment of inertia about uh, y axis for this element the moment of inertia about y axis will be the uh, dm into x square. So using this thing put the value of dm here. Uh, here put the value of y so everything will be in terms of x. So we can find uh, uh, iy and from the symmetry you can find uh, uh, ix. Basically what you have to do just uh, you have to exchange a and b so whatever you get iy then you can get ix. And then we have to find moment of inertia about this axis, that is the IZ axis. So IZ using a perpendicular axis theorem, you can put IX plus IY and doing all those calculations. Finally, you will arrive to this expression MA square plus B square by 4. And here is a way to remember. If A is equal to B, that would become a, a circular disk. And you know in the for the circular disk moment of inertia about this axis would be mr square by 2. So if you put a is equal to b is equal to say r then iz is equal to iz will be what mr square by 2. That's So I think you should understand that that should be the answer and that should be the way to remember the moment of inertia of an elliptical disk. Now using this expression I will find the expression for the moment of inertia of the circular disk about this axis. So suppose I have uh, this type of uh, just one minute, this is a circular disk I think you can see that. So this is a circular disk and uh, this is axis and this axis this and I have just tilted this. So what I want to do I just want to suppose throw some light like this light is falling on this and I want to find the projection of that uh, disk or the shadow region uh, on this horizontal surface. So if I fall light on this, so here suppose this is my this, this is R and this is R. I want to find projection on this surface like this. So here I am falling perpendicular like this perpendicular will fall here, this perpendicular will fall somewhere here, this perpendicular will fall somewhere here, just I am putting throwing light and finding the projection on this horizontal surface. So this length is 2R. So this length will be 2R. 
this point is falling here um, let me put it here and this point will fall somewhere here so the projection of this circular disc because it is tilted on this horizontal surface that will be a elliptical disc and it will look like this like this and this axis the axis that is here now this axis has become this axis and i have put the projection on this horizontal surface now see this is r this is r so this length is r this is r and this length would be how much this length would be r sin theta so this length would be how much r sin theta so i projected this circular disc into an elliptical disc suppose i take a some area da here and that area has a some mass dm so this area da has a mass dm here so if i project this mass here i mean the, if i put the all the mass of this area da on this area say that area will be da dash so this dm mass i will put here moment of inertia whatever is the mass of what is the moment of inertia of this mass about this axis that is the same as the mass of moment of inertia of this mass about this axis because after all it is depend on the distance from this axis if this is at a distance r from this axis so this moment of inertia is dmr square and the same distance here so this moment of inertia will also be dmr square and if i project each mass dm of a area da on this so here the elliptical disc that i will find that will also be of uniform density because here equal mass dm are on every equal area da dash so basically i have reduced this circular disc of this uh, circular disc to an elliptical disc mass is the same the radius is r here the semi major axis is r sin theta and one axis is r and the moment of inertia of this whole disc about this axis same as the moment of inertia of this circular elliptical disc about the same axis so writing the moment of inertia of this elliptical disc using this formula i can write this moment of inertia will be m and one axis is r sin theta one axis is r one semi major axis r sin theta other axis is semi minor axis r so you can write m r square 1 plus sin square theta by 4 and that is what the moment of inertia of this circular disk about this tilted axis passing through central mass thank you